Okay, so I have been totally procrastinating filming this video because my lip collection has gotten completely out of hand. I have gotten in so many new products, like lip products. I have been buying so many new lip products. I've been really trying a lot. And this is just a total like crazy mess right now. There are too many lip products here. I have to go through all of them, but this is gonna be a pretty long video. I have a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. I'm just gonna move these baskets out of the way and just talk about everything that is outside of the baskets, which is a lot. All right, um, I'm just gonna grab some things. So here we have the Kika Milano Unlimited Double Touch in 120. I really like this one, so I'm gonna be keeping it. The Catrice Tinted Lip Oil Gloss and Glow. This is the shade Drama Mama 020. This is way too bright for me. I am not gonna wear this. Like I love the formula, but the actual color of this is so bright. This turns such a hot pink, so I'm gonna actually see if I can give this to someone because this is not my shade. Then I have two of the Flower Nose like glossy lip stains from their Midnight Mermaid collection. And I'm gonna be keeping these around for a little bit. This is the pinky one. I'm not gonna be swatching all the lipsticks because that's gonna be whew, a lot of work, a long video. And this is the more mauve one. This is shade 04. And the other one I believe is 05. Let me check. This is 05. So I have two of these. I'm gonna keep them around. They are not my absolute favorite lip stains because they are very subtle and they kind of lose their shine very, very quickly. But I, I don't have that much of flower nose just yet, so I just wanna keep them around. They are an interesting type of formula. This one I'm gonna keep, this is the Catrice Tinted Lip Oil Gloss and Glow in 010 Keep It Juicy. This is a beautiful soft pink shade. I really like this one. I'm gonna be keeping this one. Just zooming in a little bit to make sure that this camera actually focuses on what I'm doing. This is the Catrice lip oil from the Secret Garden collection. This is one in True Bloom. This isn't actually very interesting. This didn't really blow me away. It is very sweet. It is very thin. It has a little bit of a pH reacting lip stain kind of situation. I don't feel like I really need to keep this around. It is just fine and I have so many products kind of like this right now so how many do i need the kika milano colored balm in 04 to the fruity i recently got this i am keeping it around it's a bit too soon to declutter then i also have two more shades of this lip balm this is shade almond and then i also have shade blackberry also, like really pretty shades, but the formula is quite thin for me. I have pretty dry lips. Then, two flower nose, kind of like a shiny lipstick from the Circus Collection. This one is shade 01, which is kind of like a... Wait, is this a shiny one or the matte one? I think this is the matte one that I didn't like. Is it? What is going on with this? What is this one? This is... Oh, this is the matte one that I didn't like. So this one, I did not find flattering at all. It looks pretty good in the swatch, but on my lips, it didn't look flattering. I am not gonna keep it in like my active collection. Probably gonna put this aside for like worst or most disappointing makeup of the year. Not because it's actually like the worst thing I've ever tried, but for me, like... In this current day and age with all this beautiful makeup, that one didn't really like look good on my lips in the end. Um, the shiny one I'm gonna keep. Then we have the Kiki Milano Create Your Balance Pen Lipstick and 3D Lip Primer. This is kind of like a pinky, nude, red, like maybe a nude coral kind of shade. I'm gonna keep it around because it's pretty new and I do feel like it's quite okay. It's not amazing, probably the next declutter it won't survive because it's not like blowing me away and have so many beautiful lip products. Then I have two of the Flower Nose Lip Glaze from the Cirque's collection. One is a little bit more of a, like this, this is shade, I believe this is shade 02, I'm not 100% sure. These are very like matte clay types type lipsticks. This is shade 03. This is a little bit more warm toned. I 
quite like these. I don't feel like they are perfect for me personally. Like I personally am not that much into like clay lipsticks. So I'm gonna keeping I'm gonna be keeping it, but I don't know for how long. Like I wanted to try the formula, but I think I kind of like realized that I like more of a satin look and not as much of this like kind of stainy clay look. Then this Luna Beauty liquid lipstick. This is in shade Zaya, which is kind of like a nude, a little bit on the terracotta side. I am gonna be keeping this. And then I have the Kiki Milano Little Mermaid Creamy Lip Stylo. This is shade 01 Fairy Tale Lips. I really love this formula. I really love the color. This is really, really nice. I totally, I didn't even feature this in my Little Mermaid video because I didn't realize that this formula was in the collection. And I really love this formula. So really, really like that one. Then the Matte Pleasure Lipstick by Nabla. This is a new one from their September collection. This is the shade Eden. And this is kind of like a pinky nude in a light blue limited edition packaging. I do feel like this pulls quite like nude on me. It doesn't pull as pinky on me than I've seen as I've seen it on some others. I'm still reviewing this, so surely not gonna get rid of this one. Then another flower nose shiny lipstick. This is kind of like a deeper red shade. A little bit deep for me, but I am still gonna be keeping it around. Like I don't like the coloring things that are really new unless I am sure I'm not gonna use it that much. And I feel like I could still use that one. Then also new in my collection are these three um, Odin's Eye lip product from the Halloween collab with Angelica. So I got the Shine Spectral shade, which is kind of like a brownie mauve shiny gloss. I really love this when I wore it, really nice. So I'm gonna be like reviewing this. And then we have the Matte in Shadow Creature. This is also this very clay type of liquid lipstick. I have to give it another chance. I didn't absolutely love it when I first wore it, but it's also because the shade pulled very vampy on me and I don't really like vampy shades. This is the Glow Formula in Radioactive. This is a sheer yellow, like yellowy orange, kind of mustardy gloss, which is really comfortable, really nice. Next, we have these two Kiko Milano, the Little Mermaid like swirl glasses. These do not have the name on them. These do not have any information on them, but I have two of the shades. I really like these. I'm gonna be keeping them really, really nice for every day. Then the Lip Lobin Karen Lip Serum by Catrice. This is in 010 Daily Darling. It's okay. It's not hydrating enough for me, but if you don't have super dry lips, then this is fine. It's, uh, I'm a little bit unsure about this one. I think I'm gonna keep it around for just a little longer, but I don't feel like this is my ultimate favorite. Then I have two of the lip balms from the Winnie the Pooh collection. I have the Piglet one, which is a light pink. And then I also have the Tigger one, which is more of a mauve brown shade. And I'm gonna be keeping these. I'm still reviewing these. I'm gonna keep them around and I like them so far. And then the two lipsticks from the Luna Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles collection. I recently reviewed these, really like them. They are very creamy and they look really cool. This is the shade Lanny, which is the cool toned nude. And then we have shade Mora, which is more of the peachy nude. I made videos on this if you wanna see this on my lips, but Really nice shades, really nice formula. I like Mora the most, I think, because it's a little bit easier to wear than the really light, creamy shade. Then I have five of the She Glam, what are these called? Lip Plumpers, and these are these sheer shiny lipsticks. You click them up and they last pretty long. They're very comfortable, really like these. I'm still reviewing them, but like my, rev my review is gonna be like, Pretty, pretty positive. Then the four Lunar Beauty lipstick that I got from their lipstick line this year, a few months ago. I have the shade Blushing, which is kind of like a pinky nude, but it also has quite a lot of warmth in there. It's definitely not a cool tone shade. Then we have shade Icon, which is a light cool tone nude. I really, really like this one. So cool. 
Then we have shade Doodle, which is a more pinky mauve shade. And then we have shade Stormy, which is a red pink. And all of these are matte lipsticks. Then we have this Luna Beauty lip oil. This is Expose Me. I love these. I'm keeping it. Maxidip Lip Booster Extreme by Catrice. I didn't think this was very special. I don't think I'm going to miss this if I declutter this. Like I didn't think it was anything special. I'm going to declutter it because I do feel like I need some space in my life. Then the Coco Bold Lipstick from, Str from Strawberry. From... Too Faced in Chocolate Strawberry. I like this one. It's a really interesting shade. Like it pulls really cool tone pink on the lips. Really like the packaging, really like the vibe. So I'm keeping that one. This is not a lipstick. Then this She Glam Duo, I didn't really love. Like this lipstick was way too cool toned. It looked kind of like I was putting like a contour shade for the face, like a very gray, very cool contour shade for the face on my lips. I didn't love it, but I'm still reviewing it. So I can't like declutter that just yet. The Maracuja Juicy Lipstick by Tarte in Hibiscus. Really like it. It's a really nice kind of nude red shade. I'm gonna keep it. All of these Kika Milano lip duo, the duo liquid lip color matte and shiny. I did a video swatching all of these and I have to say I feel like they're a little bit different than what we've seen before and I think the reason is because they put more color in the gloss and it makes the gloss of these a little heavier than the ones that they had in the limited edition because they had these in the valentine's day limited edition not this year but the year before and i feel like now when you apply the gloss it just it does mess with the lipstick a little bit and it doesn't stay on as well as it used to and it doesn't look as effortless as it used to and i have to think about wearing these when wearing these i have to think more so i don't feel like i love these as much they're still really nice products but they don't fully live up to the hype and that's also why i haven't done my final review yet because i just want to make sure that these are not as good all right then we have these kaleidos lip glaze from their alma viva collection i have shade freefall that is the kind of sheer glittery one the shade the shade skinny dip which is the nude one the shade last smoke which is a cool toned kind of purpley nude shade but like mid-tone. And then we have Pink Marquise, which is more of a glittery, pinky, rosy shade. I am still reviewing these. Like, I already know my opinion, but I'm waiting for the next makeup updates. So I'm gonna be keeping these. Then we have the Mickey and Minnie Mouse lip balms, the balmy glasses from Essence from their recent Disney collection. I am still reviewing these. I'm gonna keep them. The Winnie the Pooh lip oil. I quite like this one. I'm still reviewing it. I'm going to keep it. And after that, probably I'm still going to keep it because it's really nice. And then lastly, from the stuff outside of the baskets, is this Cremelure lipstick in nude, which is a really nice kind of creamy, cool toned nude, quite pinky lipstick from She Glam. Still reviewing this one. I'm going to talk about this in my next new makeup updates. And then we're going to go into this box over here. It's quite a mess. I'm just going to be picking things out one by one. We have the Dreamy Lip Gloss by Luna Beauty. This is the shade Dreamy. <laughs> but it is a very sheer kind of peachy shade with a pink shimmer in there. Really cool. Really like this one. So of course going to be keeping this. Then we have the Love Me Lip Oil. And this is the colored one of the lip oils. This is the kind of like strawberry red one. I like this one. I'm going to keep it. The BH Cosmetics Juicy Gossip Lip Oil. This is the mango shade. I'm going to be keeping it. I really like this one. The Nabla. What's this called? Beyond Jelly Lipstick in Luz. And this is a cool toned nude. I, I did a review about this. But I was a little bit unsure in the review. Because I thought... That it was gonna be more sheer and more jelly which is not what this is it's a bit more like it's a bit more pigmented than that but now that i kind of realize what it actually is i quite like it but it's just not what i was expecting so i'm gonna keep it something that i think i can declutter this is the lex lip oil by colourpop in shade spark i don't really like this one it didn't do much for me. I wasn't a huge fan. I can let this go. 
the Alien Cosmetics, which is now an Earthly Cosmetics matte lipstick in Eerie. I'm gonna be keeping this around. I really like this matte lipstick formula. I have more of this formula. Let me see. I did a whole lip swatching video of these. I don't know if it's still relevant because a lot changes with this brand. But these are all the shades that I own. Um, let me see. I think this shade leaves. I don't know if I would wear this. Like it's very warm toned. Yeah, I don't think I need this in my life. I'm gonna be decluttering that one. I did my swatch video. I did what I wanted to do. This one, I don't know if I really need this one. Oh, it's a cool shade. Okay, I'm gonna keep that for the fall. I think I'm gonna be keeping these four shades. Let's talk about some more Luna Beauty, the products. I feel like this is pretty easy. I love these, I wanna keep them. This is the Matte Liquid Lipstick in Perfection. And this is a cool tone nude, quite light. I wanna use this more because I have discovered that I like this type of shade. Then this is Hello's Eve and this is a burnt orange kind of shade. Wait, that was not in the right packaging. Okay, I don't know what happened there. This is shade Mystery from the Mystery Box, which is kind of like a champagne glittery shade. If my camera... No, doesn't want to focus. Let's get rid of that. So this is the champagne glittery shade. I haven't used it a bunch actually, but I want to use it more. So absolutely gonna keep that. And then we have Kiss Me a lip oil. This is the more pinky one. It just looks a little bit weird in the bottom, like the color kind of sank to the bottom. I already used up one of these lip oils. Like I had all of them, but I used one up and I don't know if I should repurchase it or just use up what I have first. This is Coven, and I believe this is a lip gloss. Yeah, this is a more peachy, shimmery gloss. A very cool, actually. I really like the shade. Then this is actually, actually Hello's Eve, and I just wanted to see how similar... Okay, this is really similar but different from the Unearthly Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick because it is more bright... A little bit more orangey. I'm gonna keep it just for the fall vibes. And because I really like this brand, I cannot let go of anything. This is the Matte Liquid Lipstick in Daydream. This is a peach nude, like a pinky peachy nude. Really like it. Then the gloss in Starlight. This is a mauve shimmery gloss. Really beautiful. I really, really, really love all of the lip formulas from Little Beauty. He does such a great job. This is shade Aura, which I believe is a cream gloss. Yeah, this is a nude cream. I'm gonna use this more. I, the glosses by Little Beauty, that's one of the things in my collection that I really, really wanna use more. And then we have Matte Liquid Lipstick in Aphrodite. This is a bright red one. And, and I don't know if I would really use this a lot. Like I, don't, I know I don't use these kinds of shades a lot because it's just a little bit too bright for me. I lean towards something a little bit more toned down, but I still wanna keep it because I just love this brand so much. I don't wanna get rid of things. Because if I want a red liquid lipstick in this kind of bright shade i would want it to be this one then this is the kiko milano powerful love demi matte liquid lip color in 03 ruby kisses this is a metallic liquid lipstick and i kind of love this idea of having a red lip with a bronzy like look oh you can't see it okay this is the this is a swatch um, and I think I kind of want to do something like that for Christmas. So um, I'm going to keep it around a little bit longer, but I'm not really like a very metallic lip kind of person. So I don't know if this is going to stay in my collection forever. Okay, so, so far I have decluttered six lipsticks. That is not a very good score. Let's see if I can do some more. Okay, this one I'm not going to declutter. This is the Catrice Marbellicious Liquid Lip Balm in shade Don't Slurp So Loud 020. I really like this one. I'm going to keep it. Then we have the Naba Shine Theory Lip Gloss. This is in Stardust Radio. I really got into lip gloss because of this one. Because it is just stunning. It is beautiful. It looks so good. It is kind of like this warm red with golden sparkles. And it smells amazing. It feels amazing. I'm going to be keeping this. But I haven't really been using it a lot recently. 
like it's a little bit older in my collection and yeah i've been going for the more shiny and new but i think i can still get some use out of this because it's basically like almost out like i used i've used this a lot then the bloom and bright lip glow stick this is zero two bloom it up from the essence bloom and bright collection this is a orange lip balm like sheer lip balm i don't really need this in my life uh, I love the idea of it. I wanted to try it. I wanted to see if it was for me But I don't feel like I really need this in my life even though it's really cute. I am so sorry if my camera isn't focusing like The white is really bright and then if I put something like this It just doesn't catch it that well. And then we have this lipstick from a very old Catrice collection from a very old Caviar Gauss collection. This is 02 Fleur de Soir and I feel like this is just getting too old. I don't know, it still smells pretty much like the Catrice scent that at least Catrice used to have and it is beautiful. Like this lipstick is beautiful. I just don't know if I can still use it or if it's too old. This is also a little bit of a keepsake like from from times that I used a lot of makeup and experimented a lot with makeup and lipsticks especially uh, I'm gonna declutter this but probably not really gonna throw it away because I like sometimes makeup does make me a little bit nostalgic I don't keep a lot of makeup for nostalgia at all but this one I might then I have some of the Kiko Milano Beauty Essentials lip glosses I believe I have one more shade I also have kind of like this nude red light red shade I don't believe these are still available but these are amazing lip glosses I really love these colors I really love the effect of these on the lips and the feel so of course gonna be keeping these then I also have some Makeup by Mario lip glosses so these I also really like. They are kind of like this shimmery, but in a very sophisticated kind of 3D looking way. And this one is a little duochrome, this one as well. Like they are really nice. I really love the feel of these. I really like just the way they look on the lips. Um, the formula reminds me a lot of the Beauty Essentials ones, but a little bit different colors. I have this Kiko Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in 43, a light, cool, like light and very cool toned pinky shade. I have more of these, but I don't see them right now. Or I see some. So I have a cool tone brown and more of a mauve brown as well. The mauve brown is 45. Then we have 44, the cool tone brown. These are limited edition, I believe. These are really nice lip glosses. I really like them. I'm gonna be keeping them. Then the gel plumping lipstick, the power plumping gel lipstick by Catrice. I used to wear this all the time and I'm really sad that they got rid of this because this is way better than the shiny lipsticks that they have now. Um, I have just used this so many times and it's beautiful. I do feel like it's gotten a little bit old, but now that I swatch a shade, I I can totally understand the love I had for this. And I kind of want to pick it back up again and see, like, I probably can use this up. It's not that old. I've just used it a lot when I got it. This is the Demi Matte Lipstick by Catrice in 070. A really beautiful kind of brighter rose shade. This is a great format as well. Really sad that they got rid of this as well. So I'm going to be keeping it. This is the... This one doesn't have the sticker. But this is a very like bright pinky shade. And I love this. And I love this formula as well as the shade. So I'm going to be keeping it. I need to declutter more things, like, it's not going well. This is the shiny Make It Neuter lipstick from the Clean ID line from Catrice. This is a very cool toned shiny lipstick, but it kind of works for me and I really like it. So I'm gonna be keeping this around for just a little longer. I hope it's still good. It still smells the same, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. The Catrice Precious Catrice. The Kika Milano Precious Rituals a Vegan Matte Lip Style in 02. This one is fine. Like, when I think of this one, I think it's fine. It's good, but I don't reach for it. It isn't, like, super special. So I think I can get rid of this one. Like, I don't feel like I really need it. The Kika Milano Blossoming Beauty 
Flower Glow Hydrating Lipstick in 03. So this is basically their lip style formula. They just call it something a little different. It's kind of like this nude red shade, like soft red shade. Really like it. I'm gonna keep it. I wanna use this more. The Fancy Cosmetics Cameo Lipstick. This one is actually really nice. I really like this formula. It's really comfortable. It looks really nice. I like the shade. I'm gonna be keeping this one. Then Kika Milano Hydra Shiny Lip Stylo. This is shade 15. Um, it is kind of like this beige nude, but it pulled pretty peachy on me. I feel like I want to keep it around for a little bit. Then the Catrice and the Jungle Book Collection Mowgli Lip Balm. I really didn't like this. I felt like it looked so unflattering on my lips and it just emphasized anything and everything, like all the dryness on my lips. So I'm gonna be decluttering this one. The Nabla Matte Pleasure Lipstick in Peach Deal. This is a little bit of a like dark nude for me. It leans a bit dark, but I think it could be nice for like the fall. So I'm gonna be keeping this one. The Disney The Lion King Timon Essence Swirl Gloss. I really like this. This is beautiful. It is comfortable. It looks really nice on lips. Gonna keep it. The Demi Matte Catrice Lipstick. Another one of the Demi Matte. This is shade 140 and this is kind of like a purple nude and I love this shade so much. I love purple nudes. Like when there's almost something a little rosy, a little soft about it. I really love the way that looks. The Catrice Better Than Fake Lips Volume Gloss. I quite like this one. Like it's quite nice, but at the same time, it doesn't feel super special. Like it feels pretty basic. And I don't really like the packaging that much. I don't really feel much when looking at this i think i i think i can let this one go i have all of the shades of nimia lip glosses that currently exist and i really love these like they're great they're comfortable they're juicy they're really good i'm gonna be keeping them all I have some of these Unearthly Cosmetics Satin Lipsticks. Some of these are from the Valentine's Day mystery box that I bought. And one of these I've had for a little longer. I think that is Kylena, which is kind of like this cool tone brown. I quite like this formula. It's a really nice formula. I just, with the ones from the Valentine's Day collection, they did feel a little itchy. Like they didn't react super well with my lips i am going to be keeping them because they're quite new but it wasn't like a perfect experience yeah i'm gonna see how this is gonna go i don't know if i'm gonna be keeping them forever if they are really uncomfortable in that way then the catrice plump it up lip booster this is in the orangey goldy shade i I'm gonna be keeping this one. I really like the formula. It's a nice shade. It's a bit warm for me, but I just wanted to branch out a little bit. And yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna be keeping it. Then the A Holiday Fable Enchanting Lipstick in 01. This is a metallic lipstick. It looks super cool. It looks amazing, but I've worn this like once or twice and that was about it. It doesn't look too shimmery like this, but I just found it a little bit hard to wear. I also have 02, which is a pinky shade. And this one looks a little bit more metallic, I feel. I think I want to keep them also because I'm probably going to be reviewing the holiday collection from Kiki Milano from this year. I didn't review it last year, but I am going to review it this year. And I just want to see if what they're doing is similar. And I just want to see one more time if this is actually something i maybe want to wear like maybe with another lip liner or something that could work then the plump it up lip booster in 020 no fake love this is a really nice shade i'm gonna be keeping it i bought a bunch of these kaleidos lip glaze and i have to be honest this didn't work out very well for me i didn't like these i didn't like the way they looked on the lips i just felt like they made my lips look very dry like very small like the opposite of plumping. And now that I swatched them, I quite like them, but like I remember not liking these at all. Um, they also look a little sheer, like they are not, like the formula is kind of breaking down almost, like it's not really working out anymore. Um, 
Yeah, do I still need it in my life? I just really didn't like this formula. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of these. They're just taking up space and I don't really wanna get back to those. This is the Power Pumping Gel Lipstick from the like Herbs collection. It is totally covered in glue. This is shade 020 and this is a pinky shiny shade. And I think I wanna keep it. Um, but I do feel like I have to wear it. Like I have to really give it a shot because I haven't really reached for this. Also because it doesn't really look amazing. This packaging is just really beat up because of the, like what was, what was on this? How did I buy this? How did this work? I think I want to give it one more shot. I have another one of the pumping gel lipsticks. This is zero no not zero this is 150 this is a shiny red shade and i feel like i have shades like this that i would use more and pick over this one so i'm gonna be decluttering this one even though i really liked it then the catrice ultra high shine lipstick from the clean ideal line this is the other shade that i have this is kind of like this warm brown i am gonna be decluttering this one i don't want this one anymore it's not my shade. I have a few of these Makeup by Mario. What are these called? The Plumping Lip Serums. I have Rose Glow. I have Bronze Glow. And I think I have one more shade somewhere. All right, this is Apricot Glow. I think I can get rid of this box because it doesn't make it easier to find. So these are the three shades that I have. And I really like the look of them. But I have to say that these just wear off really quickly and i just feel like even when applying them i just feel like this is gonna wear off so so quickly and it doesn't it doesn't leave much for you uh i still don't want to declutter them because i still feel like i want to try and discover these like try and discover a way for me to like this because they were these were pretty expensive for me like i had to buy them from the us had to buy the taxes and the shipping so Gonna give it one more chance. I used to be really into these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams and I think these shades are really nice. These are just really easy to wear. This is a really nice pinky shade. Really like this cool tone brown. It's a really grayish shade but because it's a little bit sheer it just meshes with my lips a little bit and that just looks really cool. I don't know if these are still good though. They are pretty old. Like maybe it's time to say goodbye. Maybe there's something else that I could buy that could give me this effect that isn't this old. And probably I have some things that could give me this effect in my collection. Um, I just just really like these, but they're just they're getting really old. And to be um, realistically, I'm not really gonna be reaching for them. I think there, yeah, I think there are other products that I can use. So I'm gonna be decluttering these two. Another Catrice lipstick. This is the Demi Matte in 100, and this is very similar to the. Oh, maybe it's not. Is it? I thought it was gonna be similar to the Icon lipstick by Little Beauty, but I think this one is even a little darker. But. The thing with this one is that I've always felt like it was a little too light for me when I had a little bit of tan, but now I'm doing more with like lip liner combinations and I think I can definitely make this color work for me. This is the Catrice Scandalous Matte Lipstick in 030. I don't know if this is still available because they are changing things up a lot. I feel like this is a good way to replace this shade from the NYX Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I'm gonna be keeping this one, it's pretty new, I like the shade. This is the So Glassy Lip Gloss by Colourpop. I didn't mind this at all, but I also don't feel like I need this in my life. I don't feel like this color is super special, I don't feel like I am really gonna be reaching for this one. I am gonna declutter that one. Let's see what we have here. This is MAC Twig. I kind of forgot about this one. But this is a really nice fall shade and it's not even old, like it's pretty new in my collection. I'm gonna be wearing this one, I kind of forgot. Then the Nabla, what's this called? The Dreamy Liquid Lipstick in Hedonist. I used to love this so much and I love the look of it. The thing is just that I feel like it's pretty smeary and I have to be kind of careful when I wear this. Uh, the shade is beautiful though. That shade is gorgeous. 
Mm. It's just a little smeary and I feel like in the end I don't use it a whole ton. I don't know if there's a use to trying to make this work for me at this point. I think I want to put this in a maybe pile. I just I need to see how much space I have in the end and then see if I want to give it one more chance because I it would hurt a bit to declutter that one. Then I have some of these Maybelline Final Superstay Final Ink liquid lipsticks. I have a few shades. I have here a lippy and cheeky and these are like really long wearing but still shiny still feeling comfortable a little sticky though so if you hate sticky lips you hate it you want to avoid it at all costs don't buy these but i'm going to be keeping these i quite like these then this mac lipstick from a limited edition that they had a la plage a luster lipstick i really love this one it is metallic it is cool toned it looks kind of crazy but it just looks so good on lips with a lip liner this is great. I want to wear it more. Then the Hydrating Nude Lipstick by Essence. You know, I quite like drugstore makeup, but the packaging just has to look a little, like, slightly good. I, I just don't like it when they, it looks so, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> like it's been through a lot. Like, it's all the, the stickers that they put on them and just ends up not looking too good okay this is an interesting lip product i'm gonna be keeping it but if it didn't swatch that well i would have decluttered this because of the packaging <laughs> this is the kiko milano unlimited stylo in shade 12 this is a very long wearing quite comfortable lipstick i am gonna be keeping this one also for formula reference and then i have some of these kika milano jelly lip stylo this is shade 507 which is kind of like a rosy nude i really like the jelly lip stylos i like them more than the lip balms they're a little bit more juicy this is shade 512 which is a little bit more bright a little bit more purple but quite cool i like it i'm gonna be keeping this the colourpop blotted lip in shade in shade cured i wanted to use this as kind of like this center of the lip kind of addition to get this kind of how do you call that look when you have red on the inside and a nude on the outside of the lip and then a lip liner i just wanted to do something like that i haven't really done it but I feel like this is the perfect product for it. So I am going to be keeping it because I feel like I have to do that. I have to do that look. Every time I see someone with that look, I absolutely love it. Then the Nabla Matte Pleasure Lipstick in a Naked Mauve. This is a great fall shade as well for me. I am going to be keeping this one. Just felt like these were slightly drying for me. Like, they're nice lipsticks, but just a little bit drying feeling. Then I have these two Hydra Matte Lipsticks from Essence. They also look pretty beat up. This is Shade Virtual Rose, and I quite like this formula. It's really nice. This is a rosy shade. It does smell very sweet. Like, it has a kind of strange scent. This is Shade Honestly. I feel like I have this. I am going to declutter honestly. Not because I don't like this formula. I like it a lot, but I just have so many lip products. And then this one, I think I'm gonna declare it as well. Like, I really like it. I have mentioned this as a favorite in videos and I still stand by that. But in like a drugstore context, I would recommend these. But looking at all of this that I have here, I just... I just have to declutter these. Like, I have these shades so many times. I have so many formulas that I love. Like, this is a great formula. And if you bought these because of me, I still agree with what I said. But I just have to be a little stricter because I still have so many lip products. I just have to do this. Then I have some Sephora liquid lipsticks. This used to be my absolute favorite lipstick formula. Uh, this is shade 070. I'm going to keep this. This is quite new in my collection, but also pretty, actually pretty old. I think I'm going to declutter all of these. These are all very old. And the Sephora liquid lipsticks, they when they get old, they start to smell really bad. And these, they just smell really bad. Like, I love these shades. 57, 87, 85, and... 55. I think I want to repurchase 55 because this is such a good kind of like nude purpley shade. But I think the rest I shouldn't really repurchase. I would love to. I loved these shades, but I think I have to be realistic. 
and realized that I am not going to wear all of these. Like I, they are pretty similar and these, this was my absolute favorite. So I'm going to probably, if I'm going to be in another Sephora somewhere the coming year, I'm going to be repurchasing 55. Okay, that's going a little bit better, but we still have a whole basket to go through. So we still have a lot. I have a few more of the final lip ink. I have shades, Peachy, Koi and Unrivaled. I really think these are beautiful shades. I just, I have to use these more. These are great. I have to use everything more. This is what I say with every declutter video and what's, that's what I'm thinking about all my makeup. I have to use it more. This is the Martina Cosmetics Marcel. Um, what's this, like a liquid lip balm? This is actually a really nice formula. It's a cool tone liquid lip balm. I, yeah, I wanna use this. I wanna remember what I thought because I kind of forgot. This is the Essence Algae Lip Oil in 03 Hydration Booster. I've used this a lot and I am probably gonna use it up. It's quite nice for when you have really dry lips. It's a bit strange, like the color and the scent, but it works. It feels kind of like medicine, like you don't fully enjoy it, but the end result is good. <laughs> you have the BH Cosmetics Juicy Gossip Lip Oil in shade. Doesn't it say the shade? This is the cherry one. I'm gonna be keeping it, I really like it. Then the Martina Cosmetics Hot Sauce Pepper Sauce. Um, this is her lip plumper. I didn't think that this was super painful. I thought it was fine. It's a sheer red gloss. It is quite pretty. I feel like I have to use this one more time. This is gonna go in the maybe pile, but it might be that the maybe pile um, is something that I'm just gonna apply on my lips in the coming weeks or so, just to see what I'm gonna put back into my collection and what not. Oh, another of the 3D Hydrate lip glosses. This is shade 19, kind of like a like cool tone nude, a nudie shade. It's a nice shade, I'm gonna give it. This one I'm gonna declutter. This is the Unlimited Double Touch in shade 111. This looked very weird on my lips, like very dry, cracked, crepey, just weird. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Then here I have the Alva Cream Lip Stain in the shade Little Jasmine. This is amazing, this is beautiful. I wish they still made these. I don't feel like the new lip products that they have have the same level of just elevatedness that this one has this is just something special that i haven't seen anywhere else and now what we have is like good makeup but does it make me feel like it is a jewel that i found mm, no like i uh, it's just this is just very specific because, because it has pigment but it still has this kind of sheerness to it but it's still pigmented it has multiple layers almost to it when you have it on your lips and it smells amazing this is amazing and i'm sad that this is discontinued the king of Lanham beauty war ph matte liquid lip color this is shade 05 upstream mauve and i really like this formula it is very creamy it's very juicy the shades are very nice this is quite warm actually the warm mauve. I'm gonna be keeping this one. This is the Essence Lip Oil in the Ginseng variation. And this is the same story as the Algae one. It smells kind of weird, but it, sh it just works so well. It just, my dry lips disappear because of this. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they can make something so pleasant and unpleasant at the same time. But I just need this in my life, so I'm gonna be keeping this. The Tuscan Sunshine Shiny Lip Stilo Stylo. <laughs> Shiny Lip Stylo by Kiko Milano. This is a kind of like cool toned, kind of lilac y nude shiny lipstick. I'm gonna be keeping this. It is beautiful. Still smells very nice and florally, very florally. Then the Charming Escape Luxurious Shiny Lipstick in 01. I believe this is kind of like a peachy nude. This packaging is everything and I don't think I could ever throw this away just because this packaging is so amazing. Yeah, it's kind of like a peachy nude with a little bit toned down. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna keep it. We have another Circus Lipstick. This is 06. How did I get so many circus lipsticks? Oh, I think this is my favorite. It's kind of like this rosy nude shade. It's really gorgeous. Why do I have three of these? I don't I don't remember doing this. I don't remember buying this. Okay, um, this is just a lip balm. I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna, probably gonna put it somewhere else. 
This is the Nabla Dreamy Liquid Lipstick in Eve. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile as well. These are the Kiki Milano Beauty Essentials Color Flush 3 in 1 all over. I use this as liquid lipsticks, but you can also use these as um, liquid blushes, which I, I also use them as liquid blushes. I do, I do a little bit of everything with these. With these, this is kind of like a berry shade, but more of a toned down berry. And this is more of a brown nude, mauve nude shade. I'm gonna be keeping these, I really like these. Then another one of the Beauty Roar PH Matte Liquid Lip Color. These, by the way, are not actually pH reacting. They just say that to try and be cool. This is kind of like a strawberry pink, and I really like the shade, it's really nice. The Kika Milano Powerful Love Dual Lip Color and Gloss. This is shade 03. These were sold out so quickly, I don't know how that happened, but this has a lipstick and a gloss, and it just looks beautiful together. Really love it. Beautiful, glossy lip look. The Kika Milano Sweet Affairs. Sweet Kiss Duo Liquid Lip Color. We have three different shades. A nude, a kind of mauve mid-tone nude and more of a burnt orange almost. That pulls a little deep on me, but these are amazing. These are the best. These are some of my favorite lipsticks I've ever tried. So I'm gonna be for sure keeping these. Let me see. This is the Juicy Tint Lip and Cheek liquid lip color by Kika Milano. This is pretty new in my collection. I'm gonna be keeping this one around. Then the rest of the Fancy Cosmetics lipsticks. And I have to say, I don't think I have to keep all of these. This is the darker shade called Rouge. This is shade Mocha, which is kind of like a warm brown. This is not my color. I'm gonna be giving this one away to someone because it's a really nice formula, but it's just not my shade. And this is Chili, which is a kind of like warm red shade. This is also not my shade, I think. I'm gonna be decluttering those two shades and I'm gonna be keeping Rouge because it's kind of like this cool tone dark red and I can still see myself using this for a particular look. Then the Martina Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in shade Pierriet, if that is a correct pronunciation. This is a little sticky. I quite like the shade, but it's just a little sticky. I feel like I can only really wear this with a gloss on top, but I don't feel like I really need to keep this. Like, I don't love it on its own. I'm gonna declutter this one. Then one of my favorite lipsticks in my collection is the Sweet Affairs Sweet Kiss Lip Stylo 01. This is a, ooh, excuse me. This is a cool tone nude sheer shiny lipstick and it's amazing. It always makes me feel so beautiful. I love it. And it stays on for a really long time. The Kiko Milano Jelly Stylo in 501. This is more of a sheer shimmery, balmy type of situation. I really love it. I'm gonna keep it. Just looks really good on the lips. The Powerful Love Stunning Creamy Lipstick in 02. This is a very creamy, like, almost purpley rosy lipstick. I love this one, it's so beautiful. And then the other shade that I have from this line, this is shade 01, this is a cool toned nude. It looks quite like nudey in the packaging, but it pulls quite pink, which I really love, and it's just a beautiful formula. It looks so good on the lips. Then the Martina Cosmetics Arlette Liquid Lip Balm. This is a bit more of a pinky shade. It pulls quite bright on me, and Oh, sorry, I'm just, I keep doing this out of the frame. <laughs> this is a shade. I just feel like it's a little too bright. I think I would prefer using the other one that I have. I think that's enough for me. I'm gonna like, give this one away to someone who will appreciate it more. I just feel like I won't really reach for that one a lot. Then the other two of the uh, Nabla Cosmetics Beyond Jelly lipsticks. This is shade Ardor which is kind of like this brown type of shade. And we have shade Libido, which is kind of like this red type of shade. I'm gonna be keeping these both. They are quite new in my collection. Let me see. I think, think I have all of these here, maybe, probably. Okay, so I really like this formula. This is the Lasting Matte Veil Lip Color by Kika Milano. And I got these two shades first. This is shade 07 and 05. I'm gonna be keeping those for sure because I really love these. These two I got for two euros each. And I just threw them in the cart because I thought I would like these shades. 
oops, messing things up. And I think I can find someone who would want this shade maybe, like it's not my shade. It's not my shade. I'm gonna be clear that I want and see what happens. This is a very bright shade. I just, I have to try this one on. I am gonna put this in the maybe pile because it's very bright and it could pull a little too bright on me. Then another Sephora liquid lipsticks. This is 84. I'm also gonna declutter this one. I love the shade, I love the formula, but it's just too old. And another Sephora, this is 81, also really love it, but it's just very old. And another Flower and Herb Edition lipstick from Catrice. This is also very pinky, but a little bit more peach. I want to try this on. I think I would like it if I would look past all the glue on the packaging. The MAC lipstick in Creme de la Femme. This is a frost lipstick and it's a very cool tone pink. I'm gonna be keeping this one. The Juvia's Place liquid... liquid? The Juvia's Place lipstick in Muted. This is a very cool toned nude. I, I think I can let this one go. It's just very cool toned and I never reach for it. It's just a little bit too grayish and it's not what I'm wearing anymore. This one is the Alva Cream Lip Stain in Water Lily. I'm gonna be keeping this one because I love this formula so much. It's a little bit more of a terracotta, but with a little bit of pinkiness in there as well, kind of shade. Then we're almost done. Like this is gonna be a long video. This is the Lip Blush by Huda Beauty. I kind of forgot that I had this one. I'm gonna be keeping this around because it's newer in my collection, but I am not like head over heels in love with this one. And then two more of the shiny lipsticks by Kiki Milano. This is by the way, from the Beauty Essentials collection. This is 02 and this is kind of like this soft red shade. I really love this one. And then 03 which is kind of like this like a cool tone pinky mauve shade. I love how cool that leans. Okay I'm just gonna like clean my hand one last time and try and organize this. I think this is gonna be too messy to actually film, so I'm, go I'm gonna be showing you the result. And usually I film it, but it's just there's too much going on right now. All right, it's kind of hard to get in view, but this is everything that is in my current collection. This is everything that I am not still reviewing and is not decluttered. I'm gonna try and count this, but forgive me if it's not completely accurate because I'm not gonna recount this. I'm gonna recount I'm gonna count this once to get an estimate. Let's say it's about 130, which is crazy. I have been trying a lot of lip products. I used to, I had this phase that I was in that I didn't like lip glosses, that I hardly tried any new lip products. I was just all focused on the eyeshadow and that is not the case anymore. I'm trying a lot and I am, yeah, I'm keeping a lot. Wow, that's a lot. It's a lot. Let's see how many things I decluttered. I decluttered 34 lipsticks. Ah, oh, I had a crazy amount and I still have lipsticks here that I'm gonna review. So there's gonna be some added again to the baskets. That's a lot. Wow. I, I was buying a lot of lipsticks. I have to be honest, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip balms, shiny lipsticks. I like them all. I totally forgot what I was saying. Um, I just got a package, but yeah, it's a lot. And I don't know if it's gonna get any better soon because I'm just focused on lip products a lot and I just love them a lot. Okay, thank you so much for sitting through this whole video if you're still here. Um, yeah, like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.